buenos dias! This is Rosalyn Osman from BS Criminology 3A. In this video, we're gonna talk about the logotherapy and result, the search for meaning in Hero's life, and also we're gonna talk about the claro and recto and the Rizal deal. The Rizal law, which is the Republic Act 1425 and its predicament. Also, we're gonna talk about the Norimitangere, El Filibusterismo, and also Rizal's paths of peace, Rizal's positive solitude in the Pitan, and Rizal o Bonifacio. Let's first talk about the logotherapy and Rizal, which is the search for meaning in Hero's life. He who has a why to live, for can bear with almost any how. So a person who has found a purpose in a life can overcome any obstacle in their path. So Rizal in his time uh, is the kind of person that doesn't easily give up in spite of the obstacles he faces along his journey. So despite the dangers to his life, Rizal persisted in fighting for what he saw as the truth. He persists despite the difficult circumstances and the strong opponents he has faced. So uh, night and day, all he dreamed of was to uh, free fellow Filipinos in his goals and focus on it. So I believe I have um, experienced myself using this knowledge in my daily life. So I have faced many challenges in my life and since my father passed away, uh, my life has changed. I have decided not to finish my studies. However, I was urged not to for a variety of reasons. So I recall that I am an eldest daughter and I have and that if I give up, what would happen to my siblings? And that if I give up, uh, what would be my future road? So I experience physical, emotional, and monetary difficulties. Um, many people attempted to bring me down. And while there are many reasons to quit up, there are also many good reasons not to. So I have faced uh, many challenges from my high school years to uh, until, until this point in my college career. But quitting up is not the answer because I have uh, aspirations to pursue rather than others to satisfy. So the most uh, crucial thing is, uh, you know, to believe in yourself and not let other people to stop you from becoming who you want to be and from doing what you want to do. So our actions uh, matter how we respond to it and it is preferable to respond positively since our life will continue on and in order to achieve our goals and prevent negativity from getting in the way, uh, we must always uh, remember why we started because in every good deed we perform, it always results in a win. The law is not uh, merely for academic purposes. It aims to, uh, to resurre uh, resurrect, resurrect rather, what the Filipino people form, uh, formerly considered to be their greatest quality. So it offers uh, Filipinos the motivation to take action and uh, feel proud of it for themselves so that we have the power to genuinely alter the course of events. So we don't know a uh, slap off. We're not as naive as some might think. We can learn that Filipinos are intellectual by reading Dr. Rosario's works such as uh, To Be Filipino Youth. So that the globe has much to gain by living in our country. To all public schools, even the private schools, in the nation are required by the Republic Act 1425 to incorporate results life and writings in their curriculum. So this is uh, done in an effort to educate the children 
with us about the life of the national hero while also are awakening the sense of patriotism that um, every, every Filipino should possess. So although this law was implemented with the best of intentions, it also um, encountered opposition, including the accusations that it was anti-Catholic. So it's because of results books uh, contain ideas that are at odds with Catholic doctrine, uh, this law inspired me to study history more through authority uh, as a student. So contrary to what previous scholars believe, this um, law will never cease to be effective. It does so because it wants to teach us about everything that happened in the past. So it aids us in remaining steadfast on our basis as Filipinos in a world uh, driven by technology and scientific advancements. So it aims to reawaken our senses of patriotism and uh, encourages us to put results teachings into practice, particularly in light of the current issues that we are dealing with. So it is more about developing a deeper uh, connection with, uh, with and the knowledge of what he struggled against throughout in his life that is about the basic information about him that can be easily searched online. So one should have a deep affection for their country if they are Filipino. So be proud of it and don't let somebody put themselves down by saying you're less. So one is not superior than another. So we shouldn't consider other nations to be uh, superior. We are because we are similar. We are equipped with the same tools as everyone else. So our own um, productivity of which uh, should be proud uh, should be what matters. So now let's talk about the novel No Limitang Rebel Result which featured characters from all societal status like the wealthy and the educated versus the poor and uneducated, also the intelligent versus the illiterate and the lawful versus the lawbreakers. So these are the personalities were all victims of government and religion, but especially of religion. So the subject of greed of for power is developed. So um, it encourages Filipinos to examine Philippine societal issues and like determine their reasons. So Nolimitang Hire by Jose Rizal is um, primarily concerned with describing the Spanish colonialism colonization rather of the Philippines and how the Spanish um, mistreated the Philippine people. So um, this book contains a, a lot of symbolism and historical events that help the Filipino people start a revolution and us the Spanish colonial colonializer colonizers rather during the time of Spanish colonialism. Shot. So every character in Olimitang plays a part in the struggle or of for Philippine independence, representing various rules in Philippine society. So all Filipinos uh, were called Indians during the time of the Spaniards, which means that Filipinos were fool, foolish, not smart, and also poor. So the novel por portrayed actual occurrences during the Spanish coloni colonization of the Philippines, including the social concerns, um, injustice, the Philippine status as backward nation, as well as how the command decisions of the friars were more influential than those of the governor general. So the issues in the book still affect our society and nation today. Thus, everyone ought to read and understand about the Limitang Hire. So corruption, injustice, um, poverty and abuse were the key conflicts in the book and they still exist today it is transparent to us so additionally um, this book is being taught in schools that students would learn to uh, love their nation and become the agents of change for it like preventing to 
a repeat of history. So Jose Rizal wants us to be authentic Filipinos because only when we know who are and what our actual aspirations are will the nation prosper. So the novel Nolimitangere um, served as a warning to the Filipino people to resist the conquerors and um, serves as a remind reminder of our history. So now let's talk about the El Filibusterismo by Rizal. So El Filibusterismo revealed the Filipino social stratification like the weak and the strong in it the land problems and the oppressed peasants, the Filipino youth and the Philippine educational system, also the nation and nationalism, the greed for power, the wealth, the, the fame or selfishness for mere existence and the ideals and ideologies. So, El Filibusterismo exposed the greed of the Spanish conquistadors like it shows how greedy and evil and also corrupt the officials are. So the content of this book was considered a uh, subversive, subversive rather, and it created awareness to the Filipinos which uh, consequently led to an uprising. Now, the El Filibusterismo, which is also known as the Dictot uh, dictatorship of greed. This was Rizal's sec second book and it discusses politics and governmental difficulties. So in our nation, in, it indirectly uh, criticizes the Spanish government. So this book uh, shows us just how victims and vile the Spaniards were. However, it also uh, discusses the, the Filipino community's failure. So it demonstrates uh, the extraordinary fortitude of our compatriots in opposing the Spaniards' avarice and cruelty. So uh, El Filibusterismo describes the inconvenience oneself of society today. It aims at um, enlightening society and at bringing the Filipinos closer to the truth. So hopefully we cannot only gain further insight into what lies behind, behind today's news headline, news headlines but also realize the means to a more civilized future. So the basic problem is greed and monetary system that's based on fundamentality flawed and unsustainable principles. So it's a complex messy would we uh, find ourselves in and it should be no surprise that then in the magnificence of the modern corporate world greed continues to thrive. Next is the paths of peace by result. See, the peace of the heart is the heart of peace. Indeed, we must pursue peace if we are to lead the society toward development and prosperity. So, political power, economic stability, and cultural advancement will not be uh, feasible without peace and concord. Furthermore, it is essential for us to experience inner calm before spreading the idea to others. So the upkeep of peace is everyone's task, not just uh, one specific person. So history has been a proof of the thousands of war which uh, have taken place in, the, in all periods at different levels between nations. Thus, we learn that peace uh, played an important role in ending these wars or even like preventing some of them to, to happen. So, I can attest that inner serenity is where true peace truly begins. It is like it is up to us and how to decide how to handle conflicts when they arise and how we respond to certain situations. So since uh, conflicts cannot arise between anyone, I can arise rather between anyone at any time and 
anywhere. So every time I experience um, disappointment, disappointment like from others, such as when there is a family or friend misunderstanding, I always have a tendency to be more composed and consider whether uh, engaging in an argument will benefit me. So I have made it a point to always uh, maintain my composure whether things are going well or not. And I dislike it when those close to me argue and always have a tendency to stay away from them or from the things I know that won't help me get better or won't help myself. So how do we create a society where there is peace when we as individuals don't practice it? How? So we need to live in peace like the serenity that we need to hold inside ourselves in order to, to be effective individuals and like to contribute to society by doing good actions and in order to consistently sustain the calm that we all desire, we need to practice on how to respond to various situations or to a uh, certain situation. In that so, or in that uh, manner, it will help us to become a molded to become more strong, to become more uh, responsible in how to, to live in this human society. Now we're gonna talk about the results positive solitude in the Pican. So positive solitude is a process which involves three overlapping stages, the awareness, the change, and exploration. So being aware means like recognizing the counterproductive conditioning associated with being alone and being motivated to look for a solution. And also change, it involves in recognizing feedback gaps and learning how to fill them with meaningful, pleasurable, and healthy activities that help one develop a sense of positive solitude. Also, exploration, which entails developing a particular personal exploration and like developing a personal philosophy of life. So, um, solitude is the decision to spend time on a worthwhile, like delightful activity or event that is carried out by oneself. So, being alone without uh, feeling lonely is the same is the state of a solitude. So it is a healthy and empowering way to interact with oneself. So a condition of solitude where you provide uh, yourself beautiful and adequate company is this. So I myself uh, can really say that sometimes being alone is one of the best ways to better know yourself where you can uh, think better and accomplish things without help or the presence of others like positive feelings especially the low energy ones like peace and, and relaxation are what I tend to experience more of I feel happier and more fulfilled I experience less emptiness so in high school way back then I believe that being alone and are like without conversation with partner were two of the saddest experience a person can go through. So leaving a companion behind to go outside and also I used to go to fast food restaurants and shopping centers by myself. So but I, but as I got older I discovered that sometimes being by yourself is a good thing for you to grow and also to discover things that you are hesitant to do because you're afraid you'll be disappointed or somehow that other people won't like it. So I come to I came to understand that tranquility can be found in solitude. When your friends or family are around and incomprehensible and uh, like and parallel peace descends upon you. So there's no need to rely on someone or something and everything to accomplish. You need you don't have to be with someone all the time to help you be the best version of yourself. 
the majority of the time you are by yourself at the end of the day without any company so uh, there is peace in solitude indeed so you can get what you actually want there exactly who you are you will know everything you have a lot of discoveries you learn new things and develop awareness inside yourself also you will understand the concept of uh, like making the change you can do without other people lastly we'll talk about result or bonifacio result focused on what the filipinos had been and what they should be however bonifacio told them what they should and could make of themselves so result is described as a man of peace while bonifacio is a man of violence so Bonifacio is a hero inconvenient to the elite. Rizal was um, like essentially a peaceful, a peaceful reformist. Bonifacio, on the other hand, was a passionate warrior and revolutionary. So Rizal was like his own creation, like Sostome Ibarra, educated in Spain and coming home to build schools so as to bring enlightenment to the native Indians. However, Bonifacio was like Rizal's characterization of Ilias, the filibuster and rebel, and who did not believe that the oppressors would ever accept peaceful reforms. Now, Rizal was a pacifist, a conciliator, and a man of reason and negotiation. However, Bonifacio was not content with words. He wanted to gain freedom through a bloody revolution. So today's leaders, as we can observe, and the powerful individuals, whether or not they are politically unconnected, exercise various forms of rule in an effort to benefit our nation and its citizens. Similar to President Duterte's administration, the war on drugs has resulted in the death and imprisonment of several drug users, traffickers, and other connected individuals. So the third thing is unafraid as long as he is on the right path and considers the welfare of everyone. He is unafraid as long as it is the moral thing to do from his point of view and he will pursue doing it. So there are other leaders also who favor a peaceful method of government. So you see, different presidents or leaders have varied policies regarding how they will aid the nation and its citizens. So sometimes people despise them because of what they behave. However, in the end, in the end, it is for our benefit. We gain from it as does our nation. So who should be the national hero of the Philippines like Jose Rizal or Andres Bonifacio? It has long been a source of contention among Filipinos. So this has caused a virtual rift where we must decide whether to identify as reformists or revolutionaries between intellects and rebels or between the elite and the masses. So we are going through a severe identity crisis because of this split Filipino, a personality Filipino. But it shouldn't be like this. There shouldn't be any, way, any rivalry between the two heroes over who is superior or more powerful. Although they took different roads, they both uh, honestly give their lives to serving our nation. Without these two uh, outstanding guys, the Philippines would not be the same. The pen was Rizal's weapon, whereas the bolo was Bonifacio's. Whether or not the pen really is uh, mightier than the sword, what matters is that both men, both them, Bonifacio and Rizal, gave their best in their battles for their nation and to help the productivity of the Filipino people and the country. And that's end my discussion for today's video. I hope you learned something. This is Rose Dennisman once again from BS Criminology PA. Good day and have a blessed day.